Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be stone painting with glitter because glitter rocks and this is the second of four glittery art and craft videos on this channel. I'm going to be painting three different seasonal rocks, starting with an easy glittery holly leaf for beginners, then I'll move on to a slightly harder glittery snowman and I'll finish off with a cute and very glittery unicorn which is a bit harder. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon too to be notified each time I upload a new video. All the supplies I'm using today I will list in the description box below if you want to go and check them out but most of them will be things you can get quite cheaply or will have at home. So for the first stone painting of a holly leaf I'm going to start by drawing out a rough outline on my stone with a regular HB pencil. With that done it's time to add paint. I'm using acrylic paint today and came up with the idea of using the paint as a way to stick the glitter to the stone. This saves time and mess and makes the whole process a lot quicker and easier. So there's no need for PVA glue in this one, but being that acrylic paint dries quite quickly you do need to make sure you add the glitter whilst the paint is still wet enough for it to stick to. For this reason I decided to paint and glitter one leaf at a time and it seemed to work really well. If you haven't got acrylic paints don't worry, perhaps try using glittery gel pens or glitter glue instead. You can also use regular poster paint and PVA glue to add glitter but make sure your paint is dry before you add the glue or it will lift the paint and could mess up your nice work. But try out different things to see what works best for you. I use the same method for the holly berries but try to shake the red glitter away from the green leaves to prevent the colours mixing together or wait for the leaves to dry before adding the red. Now on to our second rock painting and this is our slightly harder glittery snowman. As before I began by drawing out a simple outline in pencil on my stone first. So this one is slightly more difficult than the last one simply because there are more details in the snowman's face and it might need a bit more of a steady hand to paint those in. I'm going to use white acrylic paint as a base and to stick my glitter on this time. But I'm only using one colour of glitter which is a fun and very sparkly white glitter that I thought would look just like snow. First though I decided to paint in a few small details of the snowman's face like his carrot nose and eyes using a detail paintbrush. You could also use sharpies or markers for this part if you find it easier. For the most part I like to use acrylic paint without adding much water so the colours stay bright and the paint is thick enough to cover the colour of the stone underneath. In the case of the snowman's eyes I added black paint straight from the tube and did the same for his hat. So once the facial features and the hat are dry it's time to add the white paint to the snowman's head. We're going to add the glitter onto this white paint whilst it's still wet like we did with the holly leaf which is why we let the hat, eyes and carrot nose dry because we don't want glitter to stick to or cover up those areas. And depending on the colour of your stone you may need to add a couple of coats of white paint. As before though I'm working on completing a section at a time to make sure my paint is still wet enough for the glitter to stick to. Make sure as well that you use paper plates or scrap paper underneath your stone when adding both paint and glitter to protect your table and help prevent glitter getting everywhere. It also means you can save any excess glitter and tip it back into the pot for use next time. With the snowman's head done it was time to repeat the same process for his body. And again you may need to add a couple of coats of white to cover up the stone. And 
again just adding the glitter to the snowman's body in the same way we did to the head. And adding the paint as a base and adding the glitter on top meant that there was a really nice coverage of the stone with a really pretty glittery effect on top so there was no patchiness or any gaps or mess either. So once this was dry I used some red acrylic paint to fill in the snowman scarf which I decided to leave free of glitter but there's nothing to stop you adding glitter to this too. If you do though be careful not to tip red glitter all over the white glitter of the snowman's hidden body as it may mix in and be difficult to separate. It might even be better to add the red glitter first in this case. So the last thing left to do was to add in the snowman stick arms which I decided to do with a brown sharpie marker and I really love how he turned out. So now it's time for the last glittery stone painting of today and that's our glittery unicorn and I'm going to be using three different colour glitters this time and working in stages so it's a bit more tricky but loads of fun. So this one is especially for Glittercorn who about a month ago requested I do a more cartoonish unicorn. It's not in Sharpie's Glittercorn but I hope you like it anyway. As with the other two rocks I began by doing a quick pencil sketch first using some very simple shapes to begin with. So just a small circle for the nose and a larger circle next to it for the head. I then join these two shapes together using some curved lines and add in the mouth and eye. Now don't worry if it takes you a few goes, you can also erase any mistakes or simply paint over them. So then I added in a pointy triangle for the unicorn's horn, some little pointy ovals for ears and some curvy lines for the mane. So with that done it's time to paint and as with the snowman I started off using neat black paint and a small detailed brush for the eye. Again if you want to you can simply use a black sharpie or waterproof marker for this bit if you prefer. I then mixed up a small amount of pinky brown colour for the nostril and inside the unicorn's ear. Then it was time to paint in the unicorn's face and neck in white paint and allow this to dry before working on the mane. I decided to just do the unicorn's mane and horn in glitter which is why I let the paint dry but if you want to make your unicorn completely glittery remember to add the glitter to the paint whilst it's still wet. So like we did for the snowman I'm going to be working on the unicorn's mane in sections, working from left to right and alternating the colour of glitter I'm using to give a really nice effect. So the first colour I used was this really dark brown or bronze colour glitter and after each application I simply tapped off excess glitter onto my paper plate. Any stray glitter can be easily removed using a clean dry paintbrush which helps to keep neat crisp lines when doing more intricate details. I then worked on the next section of the mane in the same way, adding paint first to the area to be glittered, then whilst the paint is still wet adding glitter and tapping off any excess or loose glitter onto my paper plate. When you're working on smaller more detailed areas it's also a good idea to sprinkle the glitter facing away from the other already glittered areas and this will minimise your colours mixing together and help to keep the whites white and the browns browns. Using the dry paintbrush to neaten up edges and brush away loose glitter will also help to keep things looking neat and tidy. I 
decided to go for a gold glitter for the unicorn's horn and then use that gold in the mane as well. But there are lots of different colours of glitter out there so give it a go and use your imagination. So with all the glittering done then it was simply time to add in some details and I used a Copic multiliner just to pop in the eyelid and eyelashes of the unicorn and then I added a gold or goldy yellow colour gel pen for the details around the mouth and used that to outline as well just to make the unicorn really stand out. And with that all done, we are at the end of our three glittery stain paintings. So I hope you've enjoyed them. I hope you give them a go at home. If you do, let me know how you get on. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe so you don't miss out on more glitter fun in next week's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Have a good week. Bye.